the whale's tail. Now, this brush is really a lot of fun. There again, comes in several different sizes, and so depending on what size project you're working on, um, you can do different things with that. Let me show you. I will use the half inch uh, to show you some samples of what can be done. Okay, let's first talk about what kind of strokes can you do with this brush. I'll use the ultramarine blue and thin that down just a little bit, fill the whole brush. When I first press and lift, here's the little shape that it makes, just like a tulip or a bellflower. Okay, um, if I hold it on its side and I press and lift, that's the type of shape I get. So I can turn that into leaves. If I um, go up on the very tips and I just pull on the tips, I get two lines coming out. And they're irregular, but that really lends itself nicely to some of the different things that you can do with it. Or you can stipple with the tips and create some fun texture with the tips as well. Okay, so let's turn the strokes into something. Okay, like I said, bellflowers. Press and lift, turning it a little sideways as I go up to create that bellflower. Now I'm doing this one upside down also, like I did the last bellflower. And then you would come back and add your stems coming in to connect those flowers using your script brush and add whatever you wanted uh, hanging down in the center of the bellflower. And maybe I'll just use the tip of one of the little corners and add a little kind of dot in that. I'll turn this around so you see it right side up. Okay, so that's a bellflower that you could do with that. A butterfly. You can also do a butterfly with this. A little bit more of a stylized butterfly. Just press and lift. And then remember that little half press and lift to get the bottom of the butterfly body and then come back with your script brush and add the little body in between and some little antennas and decorate it up as much as you would like. Uh, borders, this would make a fun border around the edge of something. Just press and lift. Look how fast that is to create a border. You could turn that into a little bit of a lace border. Okay. Um, okay, let's see. Then we have um, the lines. Okay, when you're doing, ah, the ribbon tails. I almost forgot the ribbon tails. Set it down and then twist it sideways. It makes beautiful ribbon tails. Adding on to the bottoms of your ribbons. But one of my very favorite things to do with this brush now I'm going to start with the raw sienna. And I'm going to do the palm tree upside down. It's just easier to point away from me. OK, I start with the trunk of the tree, and I press, press, press. As I come up the trunk of the tree, I start to tip the brush sideways so that it'll get smaller as I come up to the top of that tree. OK, rinse my brush. And I want to get some green for the leaves. And I think I'll tone that down just a little bit with some of the raw sienna. And I'm going to get just a little bit of yellow in there this time. So I've got yellow on one corner and the other green throughout. First, I want to kind of establish where my leaves are going to go. So I'm just kind of dragging out five lines. Then I get up on the two tips holding this Let's see if I can tip this so that you're seeing the direction I'm pulling. Up on the two tips, and as you pull out, you're pulling two lines at one time. And you pull out to make the palm leaves. Very quick, easy palm leaves. And it makes them look more natural because they aren't perfect lines. That's one of the benefits of this brush is they're not totally perfect lines. Makes it look much more natural. Let's see. Pull down. But look at how fast it is to create that cute little palm tree. 
And this top one, I think I'll put some on both sides. Okay, now down at the bottom of the tree, then I can pull up some little grasses, kind of anchor that down at the bottom. And I can even take some of the raw sienna and stipple in the ground, give a little bit of texture down below that. So there again, really fun brush that you can do cool things with. And uh, this brush actually works uh, great even with your um, with glass paints if you want to paint on glass. But just think of the little note cards and things. Now, uh, one of my uh, sons was married, and they had a more of a tropical theme, and they actually had me do all their place settings with palm trees and tropical flowers, and what was with the uh, numbers of the tables because people had kind of assigned seating, and it was really when they came to me and said, you know, we'd like all hand painted cards for the center of the tables, and we only need 52 of them. Well, I thought. Oh, I've got just the brushes to do that, so it didn't take me very long at all to add all these fun little quick easy flowers to, around the uh, place settings. Okay, well, I have shown you some of my uh, favorite ones. I am actually going to reorganize here just a little bit, and I still have a couple more fun brushes to show you.